right, people, I'm back at the church, and as you can see, they got this whole side complete except right around the steeple. And they must have found some rot, and they got to replace it to fix it and fix it right. So that means they're on the other side, uh, probably already done by this time. It's about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. They're going to be done. I stripped it all. The old went off. And let's just ride around there and see what it looks like. Well, as you can see, they're fast working. They've already got it stripped off. And uh, they're putting down the felt. That's what we, we called it. But that's some other... That's another space age material they probably got there. But uh, yeah, it don't take many hammer licks to hold that down. It's a tack, I think, that, that actually got in that gun. It's a hammer, tack hammer. But uh, I'm not gonna sit here and talk like I know what roofing is, but cause when I did my first roofing job as a teenager, it was my last. <laughs> I did not enjoy it. Uh, well, the character I was working with, uh, let's just say his name was Jack. He was a jack of all trades except none. <laughs> he knew he knew how to get a roof kind of started, but he didn't know how to keep it right. Before. And that's just the way it is. Yeah, they found another bad space, so they had to cut it out. Yeah, now well, they'll fix it. All right, I'll film them on the way back by because uh, I'm on my way to Rogersville now. So by the time I get back to this point, it'll be fine. Well, can you tell where I'm at? All right. I know this highway now is 125 and this is 186. Ozark's that way. Rogersville is behind me. And I seen these geese in this pond, so I thought, I'd just film me a geese or two. If I can hold the damn thing steady, it will look pretty. All right, I'm on my ride now. I'm telling you what, I am, oh, that's Buddy over there and his family over there. You can see them, they're just chilling. I might as well be chilling for as slow as I'm going today. Dang, I ain't... I... I... Ah, shit. I don't know... I don't know what to say necessarily about it, except I'm, I've got to rest my body. I've got to ice some parts down, and I've got to... Uh, I'm going to take a couple of days off. I think I've strung five days of 32s in a row, and... I thought I buy, you know, I thought my, I might have went a little too hard the first few days, and then I realized that, you know, it was tough just to even get 14 mile an hour average. So now I'm just going to have to ice some body parts and take some time off and um, reevaluate. I may even look into swimming uh, while I'm taking these days off and see if, if that will help me. I think it did, and the time's gone past uh, when I did start swimming, it seemed to overall improve everything, so, but it's like anything else, it's so hard starting back even swimming, you know, it's like, oh, it's going to be tough, you know, I mean, like, it's tough enough to swim for 30 minutes, but much less try to swim for an hour, you know, without stopping, and, um, that's what I'm used to doing, even two hours without stopping. Now, when I say without stopping, let me clarify myself. I am stopping to get a drink of water, and um, but I'm not like, you know, I don't let a full 30 seconds go by before I start back. That's what I call without stopping. So, oh, seeing how this video is going to be kind of boring, I'm going to put some... Uh, car coming I'm gonna put some Grand Canyon footage I've got a lot of it and I'm not gonna try to tell no damn story with it I'm just gonna put the footage in and um, you know show you what I seen from my point of view of the Grand Canyon but I'm not gonna try to come up with no fancy way to make no story out of it 
I love Casey Neistat. He's just got, he's one in a million. I mean, there's other YouTubers that can tell stories as good as Casey can. I'm finding out now that some of these people that are doing these comic book series, man, they can tell a story. Uh, I'm getting hooked on it, actually. Um, I may even make a blog about it, you know, a little bit about who they are, the ones that tell the best stories. Some of them's got millions and millions of views. If you and Iron Man number 55, and few villains have proven as formidable. Despite his long history in Marvel Comics, Thanos has never been as high profile as he is now. You probably already know that he's a nihilist cosmic warlord who's set on assembling the Infinity Gauntlet, allowing him to wipe out life as we know it. Set that aside though, and you'll find a ton of fascinating components to the character that are slightly lesser known. This is the untold truth of Thanos. Tell me his name again. And they're so entertaining. They're just, you know, everybody's watching the video from the beginning to the end. And that's how you make money. I mean, you know, it's not views, it's watch time. So that's why I always say, stay to the end of my video and you might see something, you know, funny or dumb or crazy or, you know, just nothing. You might just see the video end. But the point is, I need people to watch the videos all the way through. Like if I was Casey Neistat. I don't even want to try to duplicate some of the things he does. He does a, so much B-roll cut-in. Like, see the cow walking? See the other cow? That's his B-roll. I mean, wait a minute. That's my B-roll. His B-roll is New York freaking city. Everywhere you look is a camera shot. That's why it made me think about the Grand Canyon. I got some really cool footage of the Grand Canyon. Everywhere you look is a photo opportunity, a video taking a scravaganza view. So I'm going to put that up next. Or after I do the roof, you know, where I'm updating on the roof for that Hopedale Church. And then I'll put the Grand Canyon. <laughs> All right. Well, I must have caught them at lunch because there ain't but three men on there and uh, there just ain't nobody else out here. So they must have gone to lunch. But they did manage to get this one corner in right here. And yeah, well, they didn't do it near as much as I thought they would. It could be they wore themselves out yesterday. Hard to say. He's talking to one of them guys in the truck. Well, I thought they'd have more done, but they don't. He is walking one, all the, the way out there on that point. God, I couldn't do that. Oh, I, I, look I'm at glad that. It's not windy. <laughs> I hope you don't fall. Oh. No, I'm good. I'm going to sit here. I wish you would nice you icy. I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy the view. You should. Oh, I want to go around. Woo, it's pretty. Even looking See? back at even looking back that way is pretty. Now you can say some crazy woman told me to jump up there. Yeah. <laughs> Was that Minouche? No, me. Now what I gotta be worried about is blowing out a hip on the way down. Okay. Selfies are the best. Yeah, especially the kind that you video. Not bad. A lot of people oh. make the mistake of when oh, they're doing they selfies, they, they do not video. But that, you know, you can crop any image out of video, like right, right there. Right, exactly. Crop. Buddy, I'm going to get a picture of you. The moon is right above you. Go ahead. <laughs> Me and the moon are one. Oh, wow. I get a picture you of you. You are right. Oh. Yeah. You're giving me all kinds of ideas. I'm going to copy you. Yeah. Put up and make a YouTube channel because you can make a lot of money.
you need to be horizontal, baby, with the horizon. Sorry, sorry. sorry. There you go. Okay. Anybody taking pictures, turn your camera horizontal. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm an expert. Okay, one, two, three. I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express. Last night. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. I know what I'm talking about, people. <laughs> You serious? Nothing could have prepared the audience for what they were to witness at the 1996 International Chinese Internal Arts Festival. A glimpse of the true nature and higher potential of qi power. <laughs>